On this presentation, I'll be showing you how to use Prezi. There are some main ideas that I want you to consider. The first idea is the idea of brainstorming. We're going to create in a little bit a sneeze presentation. To create a sneeze presentation, you're still going to need to have templates, frames, paths, and presentation. If you break down the steps on four different areas, then you can understand how to build a Prezi presentation. The templates are simply given to you, they're free, or you can make your own. Also, you will need to have frames. Frames are the buckets that I was talking about in class. Those frames hold all the information and allows you to go ahead and move and tilt and add paths to those frames. Paths are those lines that connect the animation. Notice that on this example, the animation is not straight. It tilts as the lines get created. Those are called paths. And then finally, you want to go ahead and use the presentation in the same way that I'm presenting right now. This is a Prezi presentation. The next step is to get organized. You want to organize your information not on lists, but on groups. So group your thoughts. You'll begin to see patterns that you can arrange and represent sometimes with an image. Also, the third part of this that you want to consider is to direct your audience by using the paths. And on this presentation, I have included some movies you guys can go ahead and watch to get the whole detail behind how to make paths. And then finally, present. Don't read what you have in front for other people to see. Engage them in the same manner that I'm engaging you right now. And to learn more about all this, you can go to YouTube and Pressy has their own channel and they have quite a few movies that get you started. Again, I will include in this presentation links to those movies, but you can go to YouTube and find the official channel with them. I want to show you how to create a sneeze presentation basically by brainstorming what you want to say on your presentation. All I did here was I created different words that I thought about when I was thinking about Crohn's disease and questions that people might want to know the answers for. And I just put them around the word sneeze. So let me show you really quick how, how it behaves, okay? So when people interact with this presentation, they will go ahead and see the first swing panel, which is Crohn's disease, then the second, then the fourth, and they'll keep on going. And again, I would never do something like this unless I was going to go ahead and put this to music, right? Because it's action and action without sound will make people sick. Even with sound, some of the older users will get sick with this. So don't go too crazy on your movements. So all that I did is type some words, add a little color, and then add paths so that they would follow the motion that you guys are looking at right now. And then it finishes like this. So let me show you how this got created and how this will eventually morph into a presentation with images like a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a sneeze presentation from scratch. First thing you got to do is go up here where it says New Prezi. You after you logged in, obviously, and this is going to go ahead and load that this window right in here. Mine says License for Education only because I use my EDU account. You can choose a template, but not just yet because I'm going to just show you a simple way of doing this. So let's go ahead and click Start Blank Prezi. This is going to give you this lame circle. I don't know what is it with them, but they always give you circles. So let's go ahead and just simply click on that path. You click on the path, I mean, on the outline or the periphery of this circle. This will select the frame. And I'm just going to delete it so that it's totally clean from scratch. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a frame. 
this frame is going to hold anything that I type in here. I can either create the frame first or I can go ahead and type in, start typing just by clicking and type a couple of words. I'm just going to go ahead and create a couple words. The first one is knees. And you can go ahead and highlight it. You can go ahead and make it bold, change the color, increase the size by clicking on this button, decrease the size by decreasing this button. You can also select title and that will go ahead and select whatever theme is associated with this. If you like to change the fonts, you can go ahead and always click right here. And that will go ahead and change the color and the fonts. I'm going to go ahead and just do that and then you can also increase it by clicking this button or decrease it by clicking this button or if you click it click at it again you'll see it so my first word is gonna be just simply sneeze I'm also gonna go ahead and make it a little bit lighter I'm gonna go ahead and make it this color so I can put darker text on top of it make sense alright then I'm gonna go ahead and click again outside that box to go ahead and type in different words like Word one, click somewhere else, or two, click somewhere else, or three. Okay, then what you can do with these is you can double click on them and you can go ahead and change either part of the word a different color or the entire thing by highlighting it and choosing a different color. Just like that. You can also do a little bit of twisting around. You just got to click in there, right? And then you can go ahead and move to one of the corners, any of the corners, just hover there. You'll see this little twist corner that you can twist. And then click on the little hand and then move and then place it wherever you want it to be. Hover, twist, move click, hover, twist, I'm going to twist it the other way, then move. And of course you can put this on top of it if you want to. Alright, so let's pretend that this is all the words I have. This is similar to what I created earlier. I just typed all the words that had to do with Cron disease or all the questions that I have. Then you're going to go ahead and create a frame. To create a frame, you go here to the frames and arrows and you select a frame. The frames could be circles, remember we deleted a circle, a bracket frame, a rectangle frame, and a invisible frame. All of them are boxes including the circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the invisible frame and I'm gonna go ahead and select what I got going on here. So that's my frame that's holding all the words in here. What I want to do next is I want to go here here to the left hand side and click edit path and animation. And what I should be able to do is I should be able to go ahead and hover and decide what gets to be shown first. I want the words knees, the whole thing to be shown first. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this frame is holding everything and click one. So that creates a little frame here. Then I want to see word one so see it's creating a straight line to word one and that puts it there and then I'm gonna click on word two and then word three then one final click over here so it shows everything again so I have one two three four five now let's go ahead and check it out see how it look like I'm gonna go ahead and click percent and we'll go ahead and do this notice this offsite we'll fix that in a little bit I hit the arrow going to the right, puts it in the center, then the next one, then the third one, and then the last one. Remember, it reveals everything. I'm going to hit escape so you guys can see this. This is the first zoom, second zoom, third zoom, fourth, and the final zoom. And I've just used words. I have not used at all images because I want you to first try to do a sneeze presentation. 
Next I'll show you how to actually bring everything group and insert images. Okay, you have created a sneeze Pretzi presentation. And all that we did is we added some words and we added some patterns using paths so that you could go ahead and navigate in that manner. Now how do you jump from something like this to something like this? Well, we're going to use a theme. We're also going to go ahead and use some graphics and frames. And we're going to go ahead and look at the path that already comes with the theme. And it will be a lot easier than you think. The first thing you should consider is to create a folder on your desktop that has all the assets that you're going to use for your presentation. So since you already did a sneeze presentation, you should have an idea of what kind of themes or what kind of questions you want to answer or how you want to educate the person about this disease that you're going to do or the presentation you're going to go ahead and accomplish. So in my case, I chose Crohn's disease and I select a template that has five main bubbles and inside a bubble there's little other bubbles that are going to hold some more text and images. Alright, so let me show you how you create something from here to here. Alright, step number one is to go ahead and create a new Prezi. Step number two is going to be since I am doing this a little backwards because I already have a whole bunch of text and a whole bunch of images I want to use. I have an idea of how it's going to look like. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click more. Then since I want to explain a topic, I'm going to select explain a topic. Then I can click use template and that will go ahead and give me the background with all the bubbles. And all the zoom ins for those frames. So I just click where it says click to add text and I add what I need to. And I keep on adding information into each bubble. Let me show you how you bring in an image. On this circle right here, let's go to it, I want to bring some images. To do so, you can go here to the bottom and select text only, which is a default, image only, which will go ahead and allow you to have an image, image and text, which allows you to have an image and text, or it could be blank. Now, if you select blank, then you can go ahead and add at will any images you want. I went to insert, image, which will give you this panel which then allows you to go ahead and look for those files and if you took my recommendation of keeping all the images for your Prezi together then you go ahead and select the image it will go ahead and bring the image things you can do with the images you can scale them by going to the corners or using the plus and minus you can also tilt them by going to and hovering to any of the corners and then resizing them. And then to move them, you can click the little hand and then move them and lap and drop them. To add another image, you go to where it says select files again, select the next one, click open, bring it over, move it, scale it, etc. But let's say that you wanted to go ahead and have actually text down here. Well, all you need to do is to click here inside and it will allow you to go ahead and type and then you proceed to add more images by clicking select images to move on to the next panel you click here and then this is two frames the big frame holds a little frame remember buckets you click here to add text or you can go ahead and say image and text and that will go ahead and put a place holder for your image you can also delete the text boxes or move the text boxes. So if you click here on the click to add text and you hit delete, that will go ahead and remove the box. You can click and hold and then move the box wherever you want to place it. 
and that's how you put together a presentation you don't need to save it you just need to click exit and it automatically create your presentation for you if you want to add an extra frame you can go ahead and click inside this frame and it allows you to go ahead and add text but sometimes you want to go ahead and have another zoom in area remember that is achieved through the frames. so you go up here where it says frames select the type of frame you want I'm going to select the bracket frame and then I draw where I want that frame to be and that automatically creates this area which is a zoom area and you can add pictures by going to insert you can add movies you can add sound you can add diagrams you can add background music including links to PDF so you can go ahead and select different things or you can just click in, inside and then type your text and the way it will look like when you're done with it it would be like this it zooms in there then here then inside and then more inside and then it comes out and it jumps that's how you create something that looks or it has all the words from here into something that looks a little bit more like this I will be including all the links to this on the email with an email showing you where all these presentations are and you can take it apart you can download it you can take it apart you can do your own but this is a basic introduction on how to create a Prezi presentation enjoy